turn and recognize the senator from Florida, Senator Scott. Thank you, Sit Chair. Are you chair now, Marky? Are you the chair? Uh, I, I have the title for a <laughs> brief period of time. I'm like I'm like King John waiting for uh, King Richard to return from <clears throat> from the Middle East. So for the time being, I have it. Yes. Thank you. Recently, the Biden administration and Democrats in Congress have embraced a radical new policy that should terrify every American. Under Joe Biden's America, the federal government's authority would be vastly expanded. So the IRS would get a look at any account over $600. The madness doesn't stop there. This new rule from Joe Biden will also require banks to report every transaction of $600 or more. I completely oppose this disastrous proposal full stop. But to make matters even worse, the federal government can't even be trusted to keep the data it already collects safe. As we all know, in 2016, the IRS was the subject of a massive data breach. Now President Biden wants the IRS to have the data on the financial transactions of nearly every American family. You might expect this would come from communist China or Cuba, but a surveillance state is not something we should put up with in the United States. I've never, I've only been up here two and a half years, I've never gotten as much feedback from my constituents. I've heard from more than 18,000 Floridians on this issue alone in two weeks. So here's my question. Do any of you believe the federal government is adequately prepared to protect the private financial information of millions and millions of Americans in a massive expansion of its current data holding capacity? And how can we expect hackers to not have a field day if the IRS, which is already a woefully, unrespon is, is all woefully unresponsive as a federal agency, gets this new authority. So what do you all think? I'm not an expert on government security. I really worked on commercial area. But um, being a victim of data breaches affecting the federal government as a former government employee and also working in an area where um, uh, you know, we, we, we observe a lot of government security problems. I, I do have concerns about the government's ability to safeguard data. How about everybody else? Uh, yeah, I, I think there are concerns across the board about the government's availability to, to safeguard data. Anybody feel comfortable with all your data being held by the federal government? Come on. There's no yeses, I guess. All right. I think we said yes. <laughs> <laughs> Every company located in Communist China is subject by law to turn over any information their communist government demands. How can we ensure that data stored in companies based in adversarial countries like Communist China is protected? There, there, is, a limit, there is a limited amount we can do, if anything, to protect that data. So we should absolutely be concerned about where our data is going and what protections exist there, both under the local law, but also in practice in those places. Anybody else? So what limitations should we put on American tech companies that do business in communist China to make sure that information about Americans stored in, in a foreign country, what sort of limitations do you all recommend? I would, if, if you decided to regulate American companies and they, they stored um, U.S. data abroad, I think technically there are legal theories for that, that they need to protect that data even if it's kept abroad. Implementing that, bringing enforcement against them for that is, is the more difficult um, task. Anybody else? Thank you.